This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, Joe here from Marufio. We've got Solomon back on the channel. Been a little while since he's been on, but this time he's got a top with him as well. <laughs> got that nice pink deck box swag. Got that nice play map. What more could you need? So where did you play? What did you finish? What were you playing? All that. Uh, it was Ash, Ashfield Regional, I came third, and I was playing Flunderies. Flunderies, pretty good deck at the moment. Yeah, it, it's it's just nice to play a deck that doesn't like auto lose to, to like base and stuff, because they'll side block you and then you're like, oh, normal summon? Yeah, uh, do not care about your sides. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, so before we get stuck in, guys, if you're looking for any Yu-Gi-Oh singles, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description. Use the code RUFIO15 for 15% off shall we get stuck into the deck profile um so so i played uh free robin um you need to play free robin it just searches all the low level wing beasts free eagle such as the high level ones uh, you have to play three of both of them or you're just not playing plunderies right i played two streaks because um i was playing one before but i wasn't drawing the birds enough and this is the next best one compared to eagle um, it also helps you beat things like DPE because it just banishes it from the grave. Yep. And then one token just because it's recovery. Um, you pretty much never want to draw this one. You just want to be such good once your engine gets going. Then I play two M Pen because you Strong. need yeah you need two tributes, but a floodgate that also searches your entire back row lineup is just <laughs> amazing. Uh, the one barrier statue because if you're going to be pl playing wing beast searches, you might as well play the best wing beast. Yeah. And then one Mist Valley Apex Avion because it's a negate, and then one Riser because it lets you out boards. But if you get your engine going, you essentially just lock, uh, Yada lock your opponent because you always stack their deck to the card they don't want to draw. Yep. And uh, then finally for monsters, free D this shifter. card. This card is so good. Yeah. If, if you draw this card, um, a lot of decks just can't play after that, um, and your deck just this deck just doesn't care. I mean, I, I played against this the other day and got the shoes on me three times in a row. Yeah, being able to use the riser to like put it back on the top of your deck and then draw it for turn, Stupid. it's just like, yeah, sure. Uh, then spells, I played three of the map. Yeah. Uh, you have to play three of the map. It, yeah. just, it helps you consistently, uh, consistency and play on your opponent's turn. Free advent for dodging cards, but also uh, dodging like Imp Unveiler, but searching field spell and other flunders. Uh, one wins. Uh, it lets you out weird things because it just sends the card to the grave. It doesn't target. It doesn't destroy it. It just takes it away. <laughs> yep. Uh, then I played free prosperity because um, it, it just digs for cards. And free duality because it digs, and you almost never special summon in this deck. Yep. Um, they're both really good. You could play extra, but do, um, prosperity is better. Uh, Book of Moon because. Again, it helps you push through um, targeting negation, but also it's a good interruption. And then going second, you can just use it to immediately bait something out and then just normal bird. Yep. And then free dark ruler uh, because you don't give, a, you don't care about like scythe lock and anything, so you just negate the board and then just start normal summoning. Yep. One terraforming uh, to get to the field spell. One mystic mine because you're playing terraforming and. You've got to so, play in gold to really annoy your opponent yeah. as well. Um, if you're going to tilt someone, tilt them in, in gold. <laughs> um, but some, you just win the game sometimes by playing that. One call by to yep. play through things. One duster, because I wanted something to deal with back row. And then the one dreaming town, because you have to play it. But um, it's just good. <laughs> just a normal summon that also Book of Eclipse is. It's pretty good. Uh, then the extra deck, which was mostly irrelevant. I played one Entis. For if, um, I got Maximus. Um, Enforcer for the Reaper Cherries, and this was part of Maximus uh, as well, but you could Reaper it. Reaper, I made this once to go into Zeus, um, it came up once, um, it was okay. Maximus, Reaper, 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 <laughs> Reaper, um, that's a Maximus target, a Reaper target, and then another Maximus target. Yeah, Most, pretty much all of it was irrelevant apart from the Zeus and Nightingale. I Reapered somebody once and they chained the Griffin, but um, 
it was okay. And then side, I played uh, Free Reaper. So it only came up once? Yeah, I drew it against um, Prank Kids. Um, they had the Brave to uh, the Adventure token on the field, Griffin Rider, and they activated Fusion Destiny. I was like, I just die here if I don't do this. Yeah. And it baited out the um, Griffin Rider, so I lived and was just able to... I had Dark Roller in hand, so I just Dark Roller and then played. Oh, easy. Then Free Regeki. Because... <laughs> it's a three. <laughs> yeah, this deck struggles to break boards, and a lot of people are summoning stuff in defense, so you just wipe the board and then just keep going. Yep. Uh, two more Mystic Mines, because drawing extra ones is helpful. Uh, triple Twin Twisters. Um, this over Cosmic, because a lot of people are going to side Lance here against you anyway. Yep. So just hitting two back row. Uh, one of the Flunder is Counter Trap. Um, it's the the theory behind it is that people are going to side things into the M pen. So if you side this in, you beat the things that beat M pen. Yeah. Because it just negates the summon, and then they can't special summon anymore for the turn. So it's that's pretty good. Them. And then three of uh, <laughs> this card. This card. Why this card is not banned? Yeah, it just uh, wipes the field. There was one game where an opponent popped it, and they got a such feather duster on it, and then just cleared their back for the next turn. It's pretty cute. Um. I, I lost that game, but I got a search feather duster, so that's what really matters. <laughs> Priorities um, in order. Yeah. Um, that's that. Okay, so first of all, congratulations on your first top, I believe. Yes, it is my first, first top. top, so well done. Very big well done. Uh, anything you would change about the deck? Um, I'm not quite sure. I'd need to do a little bit more testing because I, my matchups were a bit weird but it, it performed well. It's It might be like I might try hand traps in the main again, but it, it's just how I'm feeling when I build the deck. <laughs> yeah, of course. I guess it always tilts you a little bit depending on what you play against. You might think, oh, yeah. it's bad or worse, whatever, but a bit more time, I guess you make more decisions, right? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, any shout-outs before we go? Uh, yes, shout-out uh, to Merlin because he lent me two of the quick play spell because I didn't own them before the event. And then went on to lose to you. Uh, yeah, and then went on to lose to me as well, <laughs> which is... Um, that and then shout out to Callum because he lent me Mega Riser because I refused to buy it because I'm adamant it's being reprinted soon. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Really appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.